My name is Denise Howard, and the date is August 18th, 2011. In January of this year, we started hearing um, what sounded to be like explosions, and it sounded like it was coming from under the ground. Uh, we, st we questioned that with uh, authorities that we thought would, that's who we needed to talk to. Um, I think it was the Kentucky Department of Mines who we first contacted. Uh, the 31st of January, our water turned completely gray. Um, the uh, state inspector then came out to our house, uh, on, I think it was on the 31st, and uh, filed a complaint for us. After that, it just, it just, not, just people came uh, ever so often and would do testing, water sampling, gas sampling from this burning well. May the 1st of this year, this happened. I, this is a water well too. This is the one that was drilled first. We was not, we was unable to use it. Then that one was drilled and we were able to use it. This one blew up on May the 1st of this year. Um, we had testing done on it ourselves and it showed 99.63% methane in it until just a few weeks ago. Uh, my sister had posted some stuff on Facebook and uh, some members of the KFTC, uh, Ted Withrow is one of them, had got a hold of this information and had contacted my sister about it and was able to get water uh, donated to us uh, through their organization and through Appalachian Voices. We uh, spoke with someone from the mines, uh, um, what, engineer, yeah. um, to tell them that our water was bad, to see what they might could do, you know, for us, uh, so that, you know, to give them benefit of doubt that they would help us. And they uh, simply asked us to sign a waiver. They would put a water softener on our system. To me, that's not fixing the problem because if there's something in there other than what a water softener is designed to help, it's not going to help. And we refused to sign the waiver and nothing was done. Before January, what was your water like? Um, but it was pretty decent. It was, uh, it, all it had in it was white sulfur. It was clear. You could wash clothes with it. You could bath with it. You didn't feel a sticky, like oily residue on you or on your clothing or on anything. Uh, you could actually tell that, you know, water was doing what it was supposed to do. Then in January it got, it went completely gray and from then on we've not been able to use it. Not like we should and be safe, you know, at it. And what has the mine done since that time? Um, until last week, nothing. The, uh, last week uh, it was ruled that it was uh, mine impacted and they, they were, I guess, told to uh, deliver us water, that they had to bring water to us, and they did.